couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're going to learn how to play in fingerstyle the greatest theme song of all time, the Ghostbusters theme song. So first I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, step by step, chord by chord, note by note, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy! Alright, so whenever you're ready, put on 4 and 4 on strings 2 and 4. Okay, 4 and 4. And the most convenient finger position for the intro is uh, by using fingers 3 and 4. Okay, the third finger on the D string on 4, and the little finger, the pinky, on the 4th uh, fret of the 2nd string. So, these two fingers on 4 and 4 on strings 2 and 4. Okay, because you're gonna play a descending bass note. You're gonna play four, three, two, one, zero on the D string while playing strings two, one, two, one, okay, with four on the B string. Okay, so it's gonna sound like this. Okay, and uh, the most convenient way to play it would be to start with these two fingers. Um, go ahead, motorbike, why not? Um, instead of starting with this. And then having to stretch or to change fingering. So just start with fingers three and four. Okay, so as I said, you play uh, strings two, one, twice with each bass note. Okay, and you play the bass note along with the first, second string. Okay, four on the D string, then three, then two, then one. And then you play the open D string again with the second string, but you don't play strings one, two, one. Okay, when you play the open D string, you just play the second string, and then you play a sort of an E augmented or C augmented chord. Okay, one on the second string, one on the third string, and vibrate it just for effect. So that's the intro, basically. That's it. So. Okay. Uh, as long as you put these two fingers on, it should be a breeze. Right? You don't have to stretch anything, you just have fun with uh, the notes. Right? That's the intro, that's it. Now for the main riff. Bar the second fret on strings uh, 3 and 4 and play it with the 5th string. Okay? A5. And then you play strings 3 and 4 again immediately. Then. Three hammer on to four on the fifth string, two on the fourth. Okay, you can play bass chord instead of the chord twice. You can play, okay, sort of a boogie thing. Or you can play, okay. Um, so, well, however you want to play it is fine, as long as you play the chord twice, and then three hammer on to four on the fifth string, and then two on the fourth again. You can play it harmonized again, doesn't make any difference. Okay. And then you have G and D over F sharp. So for G, I play the open third and fourth with three on the sixth string. Okay. 
That's it. And then I put a finger on two on the third string. I play strings three and four again with my thumb on two on the sixth string. That's D over F sharp. So, and that's how I do it. It's the most convenient way, in my opinion, instead of putting on two fingers. So, okay, you don't have to change anything. You don't have to move at all if you just do this. Okay, it's, the most, it's the fastest way to play it and you need fast changes here. So that's the main riff. You play it twice. You can play it four times. You can play it 64 times. It's just, just a great riff. You can repeat it forever. You can vary it on it. You can play the, the G chord twice. You can play the F sharp bass and then the D chord. Okay, so you can play variations on it before we start. Okay, you can play bass chord, bass chord. Just experiment with it and see how fun it is. When you're done with that, uh, you start the riff solo. Okay? Okay? You start with the A bass and you slide into the A5, into an A chord actually. Okay. Now you can slide from one to two on strings three and four, but it's a lot more. Um, it's all it's all cleaner to play it on the third string. Okay, just on the third string. Later on, you can play it on both strings for effect. But when you start out, just the first time, play it on the third, and then two on the second, two on the third. That's it. Okay. And then you have G with uh, the bass note with the second string and then the third. And then you play the D over F sharp chord once. So, okay, that's the idea. You can play bass chord, doesn't matter. And then you have the A bass twice, and then you have the two and two on strings three and four five times. So you can do it with strumming it as well. So yeah you can do yeah, you can do down up down up. It's really difficult to do it uh, when you're not in the zone. It's difficult to to pull it off right now. Oh. You see you need to kind of be in the moment in order to do um hey okay, this it's kind of a uh, claw hammer uh, style effect. So Okay? So you can do bass, bass, chord, bass, chord, okay? if you like. And then the G chord, strings 3, 4, and 6, and then 2 on the 3rd uh, string, and then you can play the rest of the D chord with the F sharp bass or just the F sharp bass. So, okay, just change the bass, okay, just the bass, and it's enough. So. Um, Okay, see? Works. Then you play the first bar again. Okay, the, the slide one. And then you have this. Okay, the da 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 A5. Okay, bass, bass, chord, 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 chord. And then you have G. Okay, with strings three and four. Open second string. And then the D over F sharp. So you have. So that's the solo riff, right? So ah. right? you see, when you get into the groove, it's a lot easier to pull it off. That's what I always say. Ears first, if you can conceptualize it, your hands follow. Because uh, if, you, if you get into the music, you just execute it instead of thinking about what your hands need to do. They just do it. So, okay, if I tell my hands to do something, they, I get stuck, I get confused. But maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just weird. Um, so, um, the verse, the verse. The verse is actually easier than the intro. Um, it's 5-2-5 five, five on the third string with A. And then G and D over F sharp. Okay, that's it. Okay, something strange. And then, okay, 
it's two pull off to zero and then A again with two, two, zero. And then G and D again. And then I did this because he said, who are you gonna call? And you can't really talk with a musical instrument. So I did it like this. I play five on the uh, fourth string, yep. I slide it down to four, I pull it off to two, pull it off to zero, and then I hammer on straight away into the third fret of the fifth string without picking it. Okay, so it sounds dirty. Right? Then the G and D again, and then you have A again. Right? Just A. Okay, just uh, strings three and four with the bass twice. That's the verse. That's it. So. Um, of the riff, the solo riff. Okay, you play this. And then you can play it again if you like. Um, um, you see, I'm thinking about it, get stuck. And then you have the, uh, the solo, the um, synthesized saxophone solo, um, which is this. It's just five, two, four times. That was actually in in the right key. Okay, so I play five, two. I vibrate the five okay, to to imitate the synthesizer effect with the pitch roll there. And I play the A bass just freestyle, just whenever I feel like it. I play it four times. Then I put my second finger on three on the sixth string and I play, I play it with five two again, and then I either slide four to five on the fourth uh, string on the D string or hammer it on. Doesn't really matter. It's the same effect. Yeah, it's almost the same. So okay, whichever is easier for you, and then you play the two on the third again. So okay, three on the sixth string with five two on the third. Four slide to five on the fourth and then two on the third again. And then you have the five twos again, this time with two on the sixth string. So just bar it. And then you have one on the sixth string with five two. Not the easiest thing. Okay. You can play one on the second string instead. Okay. Um, but if you want a challenge, play the five two. Um, and then. Um, the same idea. Four slide to five on the fourth, two on the third. So uh, two on the bass. Okay, and then um, the second line with one on the sixth string. And then you have five on strings two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three with A. Okay, and then you have uh, G, three on the bass with Okay, again with five and five. Uh, sorry. And then you have three, four, five on the third string. So however you want to play it is fine. Yeah, you can hammer it on. You can hammer them both on. You can pick them. Doesn't matter. Whatever you feel convenient with. Then you have the five and five again with two on the bass. And then. You have five and five on strings one and two. I slide them down. And then I go back to the riff and loop it around um, until I have to go do something uh, because this song is so much fun, you'll find yourself looping it around as well. So this is the song. This is the Ghostbusters theme, my arrangement, especially for you guys and girls. Uh, with love from me to you. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go download the tab. It's free. The link is below in the description. And it's free. Everything is for free. Just like this lesson. Just like everything on Link and Ref. But if you want to give something, anything back, there's a donation button right on the website when you go download the tab. Or in the description before you go download the tab, there's a Patreon link. And uh, anything you want to give back, you choose to give back. I'm super grateful for your generosity and everything goes right back into Lincoln Ref into making your lessons, your guitar education, your free guitar education. So thank you in advance and thanks for watching. Enjoy. Bye.